Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another black powder update. Um, it's been a pretty good uh, period of time since my last video actually. Um, I've done, I've basically done three things. Uh, after a bit of deliberation about what to actually do, um, I'll, I'll bring in the first thing. Uh, I decided to, uh, after finishing my last two battalions, I decided to go for a bit of horse action. So um, I decided to do a, uh, a general for my Brits. Uh, obviously this guy um, was originally uh, one of the Peninsula uh, colonels. And uh, I thought, well, he kind of looks sort of regal enough to, to sort of be a general. So I kind of uh, painted him up to, to, be, to be a general. And uh, put him on there. I decided to use like a much smaller base than a lot of people use for their generals. Because I thought to myself, well... Um, you know, if I have if I put these this guy on like a giant hundred mil base or something, then it's going to take up like half the table, and I'd much rather have that room for um, for troops. So I thought I'd use uh, I had a few of these bases laying around um, from bolt action because I used them for for mounting like machine gun teams and stuff on. So I thought, yeah, this is perfect. So I, I, I painted this guy up as a, a sort of a, a general. I think he came out pretty cool, actually. Especially like the way uh, his base turned out. You can see he's kind of like uh, on a road and, and the horse has stopped to have a, a bit of feed while the general's pointing out some orders uh, to, to one of his uh, sort of lower, lower staff members. Uh, I'll give you a sort of a, a close in look. Again, uh, the classic sort of warlord pony esque type horse, um, but uh, I don't think it turned out too bad in the end. I mean, so I gave him kind of like a dark brown horse with some white stippling. I think uh, I think this guy looks regal enough to be a to be a general. I was pretty chuffed with how he turned out. So that is a general for my Brits. Uh, next up, I decided uh, when I finished that guy again, I had a little bit of a. I'm just going to move the camera a second, just a little bit. There we go. Uh, then I was kind of again. I, I seem to have this problem where whenever I finish finish something, I always have a sort of two or three day sort of lull where I kind of wander around trying to decide what to do next. Um, but I, I kind of decided, uh, well, I just, I've just done a British general, so I might as well uh, try and do a French general. So that's what I did. So basically, uh, I did this guy. Uh, this guy is one of the uh, Perry's colonels from, the, from the, the colonel pack, and I thought, again, he's got a bike horn, he looks pretty uh, pretty regal, I think I'll do him up as a, as a general. And again, I went for this sort of um, like road-style base with the old, uh, you know, the general coming down the road, so the trooper has to sort of go off to the side. I'll bring in for a sort of closer look. I decided to give this guy sort of like a Palomino style horse. I think it came out pretty cool. There's the uh, guy was a very, uh, sort of, very regal guy. Uh, this, this particular chap. He's got the uh, medal there. Probably the Legion d'Honneur. He came out pretty cool, and of course uh, a bog standard uh, trooper on the side. There. I actually had this guy, um, like ninety, probably ninety-five or maybe even ninety-six, ninety-seven, maybe even ninety-eight percent already done. Uh, so all I had to literally do was just uh, do a little bit of sort of finish, finishing off work on him, and he was already done. So he was like, I thought, hell, you know, well, this guy's going to be so easy to complete. I think I'll just slap him onto the base as well. I think it came out pretty cool in the end. Because obviously it's a smaller base, so it hasn't really got the room to to sort of make too much of a sort of vignette out of it. But I think it came out quite cool, and I still kind of stand by the decision of just putting the one the one guy on the British uh, the British stand because um, just because of the sort of the position that he's in. So if I bring that both those guys in together, so we've got a British and a 
and a French General, and I think they, they came out pretty cool. And especially because I managed to use up one of my uh, my Peninsula guys. And I also, while I was actually looking at them, when I was deciding which one to use as, as the General, I kind of decided what, what to do with the other guy, because obviously, I don't, I don't, you can't really have, there's, there's no real place to have like two, two generals at the moment. So I thought, well, what am I going to do with this, this other guy? Because, I mean, he's, 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 it's a pretty cool figure. I just got him out, actually. Actually, his little, um, his little uh, bauble has actually broken off in the box. I'll have to sort of stick that back on. But uh, I was kind of looking at this guy, and I thought, well, this guy will make an awesome... Because, uh, obviously, one of my um, sort of proposed brigades is going to be um, cavalry and artillery-based. And I thought, well, you can't really have a... A sort of an infantry uh, type figure um, because especially because I, I don't really have any other sort of bike horned uh, wearing officers for the British um, it, you know you can't really use like a, a normal guy in a shako to, to lead a sort of um, a cavalry and an, an artillery brigade even even though it's like you know obviously it'd be more likely to be just cavalry but um, Obviously, that that's the sort of my brigade that's going to be a sort of a little bit of a mesh mash because you know I don't unless I stretch out to another brigade, which I suppose eventually in in the far future it might uh, eventually just become a straight up artillery and a straight up uh, cavalry brigade. Um, but I thought this guy would make an awesome uh, uh, cavalry. Um, all that my basically my third uh, third brigade uh, commander. So that's, that's what I'm going to use him for because he's kind of uh, he looks you know different from an infantry guy and he's got this sort of cape. So I thought that's what I'm going to use him for. So that's my sort of third brigade commander sorted out now. Uh, okay, on to the next thing that I did. So I've done those two guys. They took me. Um, they didn't take very long actually. The British guy only took me a couple of days worth of painting sessions. So probably about maybe a couple of hours. And the French guy, probably about the same, but over like an evening. So I more or less did him in, in straight up. Um, then of course, again, as soon as I finished those guys, I was kind of in in a bit of a lull again. It's like, okay, what do I do next? Um, because believe it or not, I am actually starting to run uh, low on things now. I've literally got like um, a, a battalion of British, a battalion of French. Um, a box of ch chasseurs de cheval. Um, the, the the item that I decided to do, and then a, like a few odds and sods for brigade commanders. Um, but I decided to do my British my British uh, dragoons, my British light dragoons. Um, so that's what I decided. That's what I did. And um, again, it was like a, a little bit of a lull in the weather, so I managed to get outside and um, and actually prime them. And uh, and I actually got on with them pretty fast. I guess they took me about a week in total. But I painted them in like batches of four and uh, they came out r really quite quickly. So let's bring those guys on. Um, obviously it was quite nice not having to bother with um, like banners and stuff for these guys. Um, but you can see that, that, that I think they came out pretty cool. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a closer look. Um, like I say, I, I kind of, I base coated all the horses. Uh, that was the first thing I did. Um, just and, and 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 I kind of, I, I sort of worked out that you know British cavalry units tried to keep all their horses as close to identical as possible. So in that sort of respect, it was actually quite easy because I thought, well, you know, I'll go for, um, you know, a few variations of brown and 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 maybe like a couple of sort of chestnuty browns sort of snuck in. And of course, the the bugler has sort of a grey horse, so uh, you know, really quickly, I, I basically coloured all the horses, and then I basically just did them in batches of four, and they came out really quick. I, I reckon it probably took me, I reckon, in in a sort of a two day. Well, I mean, I think I painted more than than I normally did because I think my painter's box is gone now, so I was, I was painting like several times during the day. Um, which which probably which would probably normally equate to like two two days worth of painting sessions, um, but I would say that 
the equivalent of two days worth of painting, but actually the equivalent of four days of painting um, on my in the, on the sort of schedule when I had my sort of painter's block. Um, I was turning out like four at a time, and I actually got through them relatively fast. Uh, and these guys decided to go for uh, the eleventh uh, regiment. Uh, these guys. So let's uh, I'll bring you in and start showing you them. Um, they're, they're kind of like um, they've they've got like ivory. Uh, facings. Um, I, I had a bit of a hard decision trying to decide which unit to, to, to choose in the end, but um, like I say, I think when they were done, I was, I was pretty ha pretty chuffed with them. Um, I'll give you a quick sort of close and spin of them. So that's the back rank, or one of the back rank. And we have the second stone. This guy, this one's got a chestnut horse uh, snack in. Next lot. These are obviously two brown, uh, sort of dark brown horses. So those. And we start on the front rank. I made sure the uh, the front rank were all in there, sort of proper full-on charge poses. Uh, again, we got like a chestnut horse uh, snuck in here. Of course, these guys are Perry's, and uh, I've got to say, I was uh, again uh, very impressed. Uh, they, seem, they, they certainly are uh, great figures, the old Perrys. So that is uh, one of the front rank, and then I'll show you the other, the opposite side. So again, we've got a sort of a charge, full-on charge pose. Try and focus in on the, uh, the face. You can see I went for the, uh, did the eyes and stuff again. The sort of the chestnut horse there again. Again, I was pretty chuffed with how the horses came out. Uh, I think I'm getting, uh, you know, quite used to sort of painting horses now. Um, and I, I've got to admit, I've, I think I've ever painted. Uh, I mean, if you count these twelve and then the two for the officer, the two generals, that's like uh, uh, fourteen horses. Um, which would have normally, in the, but when I first started painting horses, I'd sometimes spend several weeks just painting horses. Um, but to actually uh, pump out the horses and the guys and, and still uh, have some uh, decent quality there, uh, I was pretty, pretty impressed with myself actually. So that's the last of the regular infantry. And then finally the command stand. Uh, let's bring that in. So we have the officer on a sort of a dark chestnut horse, and the of course the bugler on a uh, the light grey horse, or the yeah light grey horse. Uh, decided to go for like a more of a uh, a, a light grey rather than a, than a sort of white grey. Um, and of course the officer. You can see that uh, I think they came out pretty cool in the end. Got the stripe down the legs. Try and close on the faces a little bit. There they go. Yeah, so that is uh, the 11th 
Regiment of uh, Light Dragoons. Uh, and uh, that brings a rather quick end to this uh, little update video. Um, which is uh, strange because uh, I don't actually have much to waffle about this time. Although I suppose I did a little bit of waffling at the start. Um, that's uh, more or less the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back again in uh, probably around about two weeks. Um, who knows what I would have uh, churned out next time. And uh, just hold on two seconds. I'm just going to just take off my my uh, hoodie here because I'm getting a little bit hot. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, I'm you know, obviously watching you guys' videos. I, I'm not a massive sort of person to, to do uh, um, sort of um, when it comes to like commenting on videos and stuff like that, but I, I, I try my hardest. So, uh, you know, if, if uh, you don't see me appear in your, your comments, uh, it's just simply because I couldn't think of anything, to, anything relevant to say. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I certainly uh, watch all your videos and uh, um, I'll catch you uh, in the next one. So until next time, catch you later.